The overall goal of this procedure is to study recurrent herpes simplex virus, or HSV, infection. This is accomplished by first infecting mice in such a way that they will become latently infected without corneal damage. After latency is fully established, the next step is to reactivate the virus by exposure to UVB light. In the final step, tear film is collected for the detection of viral shedding, and the mice are then observed for at least five weeks to monitor the disease. Ultimately, the extent of the disease that occurs in the mice can be assessed by disease scoring. Herpetic stromal keratitis. This is a disease affecting many people worldwide. This particular disease is one of the leading causes of infectious blindness. We have a model that we use in mice to mimic this particular disease. There are other models that actually can mimic this disease, but we feel this is the best rep representation of this particular disease. I'd like to take a few minutes today and introduce the people you'll be seeing in this video. This is Chloe, who's been working with me for the last several months. This is Nipun, who is a summer student who's working in the lab. Begin the experiment by growing HSV1 on Vero cells for 3 to 4 days to 80% confluency in a T150 flask. The cells will have rounded up by this time and will be easily dislodged by hitting the flask. Transfer the cell suspension to sterile 50 milliliter conical tubes and then spin down the cells for 15 minutes at 1510 times G at 4 degrees Celsius in a benchtop centrifuge.